Hello, fellow witches, and welcome to another enchanting journey into the world of witchcraft. I'm Deanna, the witch of Witchway Witchery, and today we'll be diving into the mystical realm of Imbolc and the safe practices when it comes to candle magic. So, let's jump into it. Imbolc, a Celtic pagan festival, marks the Earth's awakening from winter to spring. Celebrated around February, it's a time of purification, light, and the resurgence of life. Dedicated to the Celtic goddess Brigid, Imbolc is a fire festival symbolizing the returning light and warmth. Central to this celebration is the veneration of Brigid, a goddess embodying fertility, healing, poetry, smithing, and the hearth. What better way to honor this occasion and this goddess than with some candle magic? As we delve into the magical and practical aspects of working with candles during Imbolc, it's crucial to ensure our safety. Let's go over some practical safety tips that every witch should know when it comes to candles. First and foremost, choose your candles wisely. Opt for high quality, non-toxic candles made from natural materials. Beeswax candles, for example, not only burn cleaner, but also emit a natural honey scent, adding an extra layer of magic to your ritual. If a flame candle doesn't work for you, maybe consider getting yourself an LED candle. These can be left unattended, doesn't smell, and doesn't produce heat. They are great for long rituals or rituals that require you to leave them unattended for long periods of time. They are also reusable. The only downside is they require batteries, which isn't great for the environment, but they are safer than the traditional option. Next, consider the placement of your candles. Keep them away from flammable materials, curtains, or any other potential hazards. Creating a sacred space ensures a harmonious and safe environment for your magical workings. Once your candles are in place, it's time to cast a protective circle. This not only enhances the magical energies, but also serves as a safety measure for the spiritual sense, creating a boundary between the magical and the mundane. Remember, never leave your candles unattended. It's easy to get lost in the magical energies, but safety should always be a priority. If you need to leave the room, extinguish the candles and relight them when you return. If you need to leave your candles lit for long periods of time, maybe consider placing them in a water bath or your bathtub with an inch of water beneath. This way, if something was to happen to your candles, the water would extinguish the flame, keeping your home safe and keeping your ritual from getting out of control. Speaking of extinguishing, Let's discuss proper ways to put out our candles. Snuffing them with a candle snuffer or wetting your fingers and pinching the flame are both safe methods. Blowing can scatter energies, hot wax, or sparks, so it's best to be avoided. As you work with your candles, always maintain intention and focus. In bulk is a time for new beginnings and inspiration. Infuse your candles with your intentions and let the magic unfold. As we conclude our journey into the realm of Imbolc and candle magic, remember witchcraft and safety should go hand in hand to ensure you have the best experience possible. May your candles burn bright and may the magic of Imbolc illuminate your path. Until next time, fellow witches, stay safe, stay magical, and as always, have the day that you deserve. Toodles for now.